Hello everyone and welcome to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how you can merge or concatenate rows based on the ID column in your data set. For example, in a sample data set that I have over here, I have order ID, customer name, category and subcategory. By order ID, for example, in the first and the second row over here, I have order ID uh, 13 and the rest of the columns are same in this case, which is customer name and category. However, the subcategory is split into two different subcategories and I want to merge both of these into one single cell so that I have one row for the order ID 13 separated by a comma in the subcategory section. So let's see how we can do this in the Power Query. So let's quickly jump into the Power Query editor. Under the home tab, let's click on group by this particular dialog box will appear over here. So we will choose the order ID here and let's give it a new column name. Let's call this as merged subcategory and the operation here instead of count rows, I want the maximum value. So we want the max value of our subcategory column because this is our target column which we are trying to merge in this case and then I'm going to click on OK. So you will see that we are just getting one subcategory for every single order ID. So we will have to tweak the M code a bit over here. So let's head over to the advanced editor and now what I will do is instead of list.max over here, I'm going to change this to text.combine. So what this is doing is it is going to combine all the subcategories that I have under the order ID and then this particular text.combine accepts the second argument which is a separator. In this case, I'm going to use comma as a separator. You can choose whatever you want to here and then I'm going to click on done. And once you click on OK, you will see that our, now, our categories are now combined. So for order ID 13, we had cookies and organic vegetables and both of them have been combined. Now the rest of the columns have disappeared. So to bring them back, which is the uh, customer name and category, what we will do is in the group by order ID section over here, I'm going to add in the more columns that we have. The first one is customer name. Make sure that you're typing in the uh, name correctly over here, followed by uh, the category that I have in my data set and then I'm going to click on the confirm button over here and you will see that we've now added back the customer name and category back into our table and the subcategory column is now merged into one single cell by order ID. So for the order ID OD35 over here, we're seeing three different categories over here combined into one single subcategory. So this is how you can combine rows based on your order ID in your data set. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.